Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be part two of my discussion with Lenny on the EU elections and immigration policy. Hopefully you caught the first one. Uh, having said that, hopefully you will join us on Sundays on the Patreon meetings where you can interact with us directly, or at least Justin and I will be there. And you can ask uh, questions, you can make comments to us, whatever, but you are welcome to do that. And in so doing, you're supporting this channel, which I think is an important channel. Oh, yeah. I'm a little biased on that. And maybe at one point I'm going to be there as well. Maybe just. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. You're welcome to. Maybe oh, you're welcome visiting. to. You're absolutely welcome to. I think people might get a kick out of that. So having said that, um, we're going to pick up where we left off when we were talking about the EU elections. And we're going to talk about Germany specific. The, the question I'd like to start off with, if I may, there, I have several that I've been mm -hmm. wanting to ask mm -hmm. you. Um, you are a teenager, of course. You are in school, in a gymnasium, yeah. which is like a prep school in the United States. And I know that you don't speak for every German teenager. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not pretending that you do. But I would like to know what your classmates are talking about. Because you have immigrants in your class. Yes. Yes, I do. I do. What is the atmosphere? What are people talking about? So um, we, are talk we are talking about it very openly, I would say. Because... Um, it's it's an issue that uh, that involves us us as well. Um, yeah, absolutely. As you said, we uh, I have friends that are uh, immigrants. Uh, we have classmates that are immigrants, and um, it's just a huge topic to them as well um, because it, I mean, it directly to, impacts yeah, their it, lives. It directly impacts their lives. So, uh, yeah, we we were talking about that, and um, we were talking about that as well in the class uh, with the teachers and um, basically the teachers just let us roll. They really don't interfere. Um, but uh, I think that um, I can speak for a lot of teenagers, but I can't speak for all because I just don't know the opinion of all of them. But sure. I can speak for my friends and I can speak for, um, I mean, yeah, yeah, just just the bubble I've, I've been in, um, my classes, my, um, yeah, my mates. So um, basically what we are thinking is that um, if you come to Germany out of, from a country that that's in war, um, from um, you just fleeing, you running from young, running for your life, and um, you end up in Germany. Um, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, for example, it doesn't matter if if if, if there's war in your country. Uh, if you come from the USA, you're running from something, and it's just your your situation is just not not um, yeah not good and, and you, you, don't, you don't want to live there anymore because um yeah you're just just not happy if, if or you come, safe not or it's, safe, not, it's yeah. not whether you're not happy okay. it's whether you're yeah. physically okay. not safe if you if you come to germany then you're welcome but you have to follow some rules and you and you have to and that's the most important thing you have to um adapt to us mm -hmm. and you have to correct um i think a huge a huge thing is you have to uh, learn our language mm -hmm. you have to um, be respectful you have to respect our our um, rules of society because um, if you come from a country that is that really does not have a have a democratic system and um, and for example rights for women are not there mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. you come here you respect those rights and if you don't respect those rights you Goodbye. go right back and um, that's just how it is and uh, yeah. if you if you want to change your life you come to Germany 100% come here, but respect us. I have two thoughts, if I may. The first is, yep. uh, you know, the United States also took, uh, when the Ukrainian war broke out, mm -hmm. the United States made such a big deal about, oh, look at us, world leaders on human rights and protecting people. We mm -hmm. allowed, I think it was like 50,000 Ukrainians. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you serious? You're patting yourself on the back for taking 50,000 war refugees. Germany took one and a half million. And we're the yeah. size of Montana. Yeah, we're one state in the United States took something like one and a half million. Poland, which is also the size of roughly Montana, took two and a half million. And you're going to pat yourselves on the back for 50,000. Yeah. But the other thing I'd like to mention is I've had people in the past who worked for me who came here from countries that maybe weren't war torn, but were really not strong on human and civil rights. 
And they come here not with the ex- expectation that they need to adapt to our culture, mm-hmm. but that we're supposed to adapt to their culture. And then they complain all the time about, well, what has the German government done for you? The German government doesn't do enough to help support my children. The German government doesn't do enough to help help me pay my rent. German government didn't ask you to come here. The German government didn't. Nobody begged you to come to Germany. Therefore, Germany does not have a responsibility to pay your bills. Exactly. Where the hell do they get this stuff from? I don't know. But because this is a major issue, there is a political party that I would like you to explain. Yep. That is rising in power in Germany on that one issue. Would you be kind enough? Sure. So um, this one particular party uh, is called the AfD. And, um, in German, it's called the AfD. In English, yeah. AFD. AFD. Yeah. Which stands for? Alternative für Deutschland. We'll put that on the bottom of the screen. Yeah. So um, this party, um, just for information, is a extremist party or more extremist party, extremist to the right. And um, this party is rising right now because a lot of people are fed up and uh, a lot of people want, want to change. So um, I think there, uh, there are a few issues with this party and um, they are just undeniable issues because they are, it's stuff like racism and stuff like anti- anti-Semitism. 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 You can say um, anti-Jewish. Yeah, anti-Jewish. Um, and stuff like that that's happening in the in the leadership of this of this um, party, which is not okay and uh, which has to be addressed. And some of like the youth organizations of this party, for example, um, yeah, it's it's just a youth organization of the AfD. And um, they are didn't they the are, Nazis have a youth organization yeah, too? Yeah. So and I'm not throwing aspersions. No, I'm not. Trying no, no. But to, uh, but they that. they they just got um, from the. From the um, Verfassungsschutz, what's Verfassungsschutz? You know what that is? It's constitutional court, yeah, constitutional yeah, law. Exactly. Um, they just, um, yeah, put the youth organization into um, into the racist and. But when we talk about racism, I think we need to be careful because sometimes yep. you can state facts about maybe race or racial <laughs> issue does not make somebody a racist. Yes. I, so I think we need to be clear. Yes. And so, we, I'd also, if I may, like yeah. to, to say that while Lenny's pointing out the negatives, and it's, some people can interpret those as positives. Yep. And no party, I, and I don't, this is, I'm, I know I'm going to get hung for this. I don't think any political party in Germany is 100% wrong or 100% right. And the reason That's I right. say this is because there is a reason that AfD is becoming so popular in Germany. Yes. So they can't yes. be all crazy. Okay, so... And it's um, com- yeah, it's, it's complicated, but um, I hope I can give you a brief overview, just, just for your information. Um, I think, and my friends also, um, and uh, other teenagers as well, and a lot of people think that the AfD is necessary. The is AfD, necessary? Yes, the AfD is necessary. Because they um, are a far right party that centers the other parties. They. I wanted to make that point. I didn't think you'd make it. I mean, it's it's obvious. <laughs> so, Ooh. so basically, um, this party um, is is a right party. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're, t- we're, we're yes. again we're focusing on one yes. special yes. issue, which is immigration. immigration. Yes. Um, and on that issue, um, they have extremist views, but those extremist views are very much needed because we have other parties like the left party and like the green party. And I would like, even go so far as to say the CDU, which is the centrist yeah, party. Yeah. Uh, they just aren't taking it seriously. Exactly. They're just basically oh inviting God, everyone. Believe, you know, I actually talked with Justin before you came over today and I, we actually didn't think you would say that. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's that's obvious. So uh, I think it's obvious. Yeah. The, um, and, and if I can give one quick yeah. example, the main party here, the centrist party, the CSU slash CDU, it's kind of the same party in two different places. They voted for this the new citizenship law. They voted for it. 
and they were very open-minded on immigration. But the moment the IFA placed second in our recent elections and they saw the overwhelming number of people who voted for IFA, they are now coming out saying that they want to revisit the same citizenship law that they passed. They now want to repeal. Yep. So it was a wake-up call. Yes, 100%. it was. And um, the thing is that um, a lot of Germans right now are scared because um, the AfD is getting really powerful. Yes. And the problem with that is um, that we all know, and I think the AfD on its own knows, and we know because we are just sane humans, um, we know that the AfD couldn't be on their own and uh, and ruling a country. Absolutely true. Because Which is the benefit a, of a exactly, system like we have here exactly, in Germany. Because they're, they're an extremist party. But they're, so, they're so never going to have an outright majority. True. Because in the United States, you only have two political parties. Yeah. It's going to be one or the other. <laughs> so Here in Germany, it's five, six different parties have to find a way to rule together, exactly. which moderates or ameliorates the exactly. extremist views of the off day. Exactly. So even if they, and this is a concern of mine, even if they were to win the next election, if they were to win the majority, they yeah. still can't just do what they want to do. Exactly. They're going to have heavy influence. Yeah. But... So it's what people want yeah. right now. And um and exactly this is um like the thing that we were talking about because um the AfD is getting powerful because they they um I think they take the fear of mm -hmm. of people and use it, which is which is okay, which is But they, is, is it a legitimate fear? Yes, it of is of losing is the it, German it, culture. It, it is a it is a legitimate fear, one hundred percent. Um and uh and they have points that are important yes they do um but you have also have to see the points that are just not okay which are for example um the stuff like remigration it's called re uh, re is there an english word i don't think so but um it's it's basically i'm sure there is it's repatriation it's it's like it's like they they behind behind their voters backs they um they wanted to pass a law that or not pass a law but they th were they were thinking about it and talking about it um of getting rid of everyone in germany that is that does not have a german re a relative in his family and that is just not okay that is just no we, i think we've forgotten to say something okay my age group your age group and i yeah. i speak for adults who I associate with socially no names. Okay. No, you, you know, these people, yeah. but um, I'm speaking for the older generation. You're speaking for the younger generation yes. and everybody recognizes immigration is absolutely necessary to the survival oh, yes. of not just Germany, but Europe. Oh yes. We know that we need to reemphasize that what we're talking about is illegal immigration yeah. and people who come here and can um, with extremist views or views that are counterculture here. And if you're not going to get with the program, so to speak, you need to go. Yes. But it's no different if you were in my no. house. If you personally were in my house staying any length of time and you were a disruption, yeah. you got to go home. Yeah, 100%. Um, and and that's what the AfD is using right now. They're just saying, well, they're, they're illegal immigrants. Um, we want to get them out, mm -hmm. and uh, which is legitimate. But 100%. they also want to get rid of exactly. LGBT people have and to go. Yeah, they they want to uh, make it illegal. Yeah, gay marriage. Gay marriage stuff, yeah. gone. They have they have just like th this one particular particular um, point of view of them is legitimate, and we all know that, and it's very and that's important. That's the one issue exactly. that they're getting voted exactly. in exactly, and and they're but the problem is they're taking it far with other issues, and uh, we see that right now because they have won in one in one city. They won the city council and last year and they had their program, which, uh, which will, they, for example, they said, um, for dog owners, uh, because in Germany you have to pay for, I don't know if, if, if it's the same in the US. No, but, it is not. Um, you have to pay taxes on your dog and because you. I think it's, a, I, I literally think it's a thousand euro to get a license to have a dog. Yeah. It's something, something crazy. Yeah. Something like that. And for a cat, it's almost nothing. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, you, you walk around with a dog as well and stuff. But it really doesn't matter. But uh, they I wanted still to. Need a dog. Yeah, do want. Yeah, I 
didn't want to. Uh, they, <laughs> they they wanted to uh, to lower that. They wanted to to um, to relieve the the people that have dogs. They wanted to to lower the price. Um, lower they, the tax burden yeah, is what we would yeah. say in the U.S. And um, and they also on, on the program they said, well, we we we're gonna build new playgrounds for the kids because in that city they really didn't have any, and um, we're gonna do this and that. Um, and the funny is the funny thing is exactly the opposite happened. As exactly, always does. Exactly, <laughs> exactly the opposite. Uh, they they raised the price for dog owners. Yep, and they denied all uh, playground uh, construction sites. But I don't want to say I don't want to blame the Eye of Day particular for that because in my experience, that's just a politician. Yeah. Very very rarely do politicians ever do what they say they're going to do. True, um, but that just shows that it's demonstrative. Exactly. So. So what what we really don't want is them being uh, the ones that uh, that are like the the guys that that are ruling this country. Yeah. Because this just wouldn't work. We all we know that, and we know yeah. a lot of experience. One <clears throat> hundred years ago, <clears throat> I just a bit of a <clears throat> oh that speed bump in history. That speed that speed bump in history. If you watch the last video. Um, <laughs> god oh my god but um yeah so uh <laughs> we really don't want that to happen again and absolutely um, not and people that survived um the time with uh the certain time a few years ago um the speed bump in history uh, um the people that that survived that the second world they War. exactly they just um they're they're talking about it right now because don't. this is how it started. Yes, this is how it started, yep. and we really and don't. It, want it's to it, interesting, interesting, interesting. If you go into the German train stations, especially yep. at night, and into the bus stations like we have here in, in the town we yep. live in, there are certain certain groups of people. I don't know if I can name the Roma. If I'm not allowed to, Justin can can block it out. But those people were the first ones that Hitler started railing against, and the German people. We're really tired of the these immigrants coming in and just sucking the German economy dry. Yep. Here we are in 2024, and it's the exact same people, the exact same situation. Hopefully, we learn from history, and we're going to find a better solution. Yes. Uh, exactly. The extremist way doesn't work. I'll, I'll never support it. No. But. but and and one one thing, other thing, I want to yeah. add because I know we're this video is starting to run long. Um, it's interesting that you said that this is a conversation in your classroom at the moment. Oh, yes. Because the surprise to me in this election was the number of young people who voted for Eye Day. Oh, yeah. It was, and that's the future of Germany. So the, the people who uh, are going to school with these immigrants, who are getting their first jobs with these immigrants, and who will be voting long into the future... They're the ones who are saying this can't go like this. Yes. And that's without bringing up what immigration has done to the uh, school system, which could be a yeah. video all its own, and what it's done to the healthcare system here. Yes. It's and a burden. Yep, 100%. Um, but, I, but I also want to say that I have I have a lot of friends, or not a lot of friends, but I have a few friends that are immigrants. Yeah, you don't have a lot of friends. Oh, huh, yeah. <laughs> hurts but um yeah so the 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 immigrant friends that i have um for example we talk about karim um i, mm -hmm. might, I might get him on a, on a video maybe yeah he's well maybe he's I, well yeah and that'd be interesting that yeah. would be interesting absolutely because he is also he, he speaks even harry's English. got some crazy ideas he oh. probably <laughs> but i'm an immigrant friend of yours yeah so i'm an immigrant and, I count. and if you if you go if you come to germany and you and you adapt to our system if you do what you're supposed to do you're come welcome please you're come welcome because we need you we need people that are contributing that are helping our system Correct. because uh we have um for example a shortage in um in nurses mm -hmm. just one example we, we don't really have nurses and now, it's amazing to me uh when i had my surgery Three years ago, I guess it was. Yeah. Almost all of my surgical staff were Mexican. Yep. And when I asked the, the lead <clears throat> surgeon why she was here in Germany instead of the U.S., she, she said I couldn't get a, a green card. So yep. all the all the Mexicans are coming here now. We're benefiting. Yeah. Well, Germany said, benefits. That's so, that's one of those benefits I was talking about. Yeah. When immigration absolutely benefits a country. Exactly. And but and we're also, talking about an educated 
educated people. True. And and also, um, if you if you think about um, who built, uh, who rebuilt this country. Oh. Yeah, the, the guest workers. Yeah, with the guest mm-hmm. workers. Uh, so we mm-hmm. wouldn't even exist without Absolutely without true. immigration. Everybody who repaired or rebuilt my house yes. in the last few weeks were all yes. from outside of Germany. They were and European, that but is, they were from outside of Germany. That is the immigration we want. But we don't want people that come here that that uh, rent rent an apartment for 50 bucks a month, stay there. And trash um, it. Trash it and, um, and suck the system out. Uh, collect the money and send yeah. it back to their home countries. Abs- Doesn't work like this. I forgot to mention that. And 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 that's Doesn't work like this. that's a sizable portion of the population at the moment. Yes. And the average German, which I th- I can now consider myself, I think the average German because I I, I mean I hold all the documents. Um, tired of it. Even in the I should say this before we close out. I've been in Germany six years now. Yep. And I remember the first time that the AfD won a seat. In the government. I remember it was front page news. They got one. I think it was one seat. Yeah. And then the next one, they got nine seats. And now they're second largest party in the country. Yeah. I've seen it in six years. I've seen this because Germany is not just Germany. Excuse me. Europe is tired of this. Yep. And uh, yeah. And th- th- that's just like we uh, we see countries like, for example, what, what really upsets a lot of people here is that um, countries like France, Italy, um, I don't Greece. know that Italy had a choice or Greece had a choice. No, but but really, that they, um, if, if, if immigrants come from over the seas, come into their country illegally, 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 and they just send them right to us, and we take how many did we take? Germany Millions. has been too generous, but it goes back Mill- to that sensitivity I was talking about because of the uh, Second World War and yes. those atrocities. Germany is oversensitive. Denmark. Flat closed their borders. Yep. Norway followed. Sweden just did it. Netherlands are getting ready to do it because they're getting ready to pass legislation to to stop people literally at the border. Yep. And Germany, the thing, the German politicians are reluctant to take the necessary steps to seal the border, but the voters are speaking loud and clear. And it goes back to what you said, where where off day is a reality check on the politicians, yes. right? Now. Yes, it and is. it's and it's starting to look like they're listening. We'll see. Yep. We'll see. We'll see. Boy, this was a long video. But oh, this, yes. I could go on for another 20 minutes. Necessary. <laughs> this was fun. Thank you. Yes, of course. Um, as I close out, let me once again invite you to join us on the Patreon Sundays. You are welcome to do so. And, well, if you want to change in your life and you can contribute to the German economy, contribute to German society and culture, please, you are welcome to come. Till next time, my friends. Be smart. Be safe. Ciao. Ciao.